Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. If you want the Lee Bailey situation. Hoo wee. People are mad. They are big mad about this young black girl playing the little mermaid playing ariel um it's gotten really disgusting with the things that i'm seeing the way that they are going in at her now youtube a year ago removed the like and the dislike ratio the buttons right the only thing you can do on videos now is like them um because supposedly you know People like James Charles and, you know, the people who really matter on this platform, the white folks, their mental health is being affected, right? That's what they said. Oh, you guys are dislike bombers and you guys go out your way to dislike content and it's hurting their feelings. That was what they tried to spin, but that wasn't it. They removed the dislikes because nobody cared about old man Joe and what he had to say. Anytime the White House posted something, they'd be bombed with dislikes, okay? And it was making them feel away. Um, so that was the true tea, okay? Oh, Sleepy Joe, Joe, Sleepy, <laughs> Sleepy Joe would be falling asleep at the podium and folks would be roasting him and hitting dislike. Because first they removed the comments. Remember when they, they were first doing the White House stuff when Trump was in office, they would allow the comments. People could go in on him and say orange man bad and drag his toupee and everything else. When, you know, old man Joe got into office, all the sudden there was no comment section. Well, damn, what, what happened to the comment section? It was here prior. So first they got rid of the comment section. So then people said, well, fuck it. I'm going to just keep hitting dislike. So the dislikes would be like, literally, it was the craziest thing. It'd be like 200,000 dislikes, 1,000 likes. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't see no shit like this. But, you know, they didn't want to come on to the fact that that's why they removed the dislikes. They claimed it was because of the mental health of, you know, the big YouTube stars like James Charles. Okay, YouTube. So it's very interesting that there's no dislikes, but supposedly somebody done created some type of, I don't know, child, a dislike app or some shit that you can put on Google Chrome and you can, you know, see how many dislikes a video really has. Because when you go onto the Little Mermaid uh, channel, it has, you know, you just see the likes. Well, Folks got smart and they pulled up the dislikes and it has supposedly a million dislikes on the video. And somebody done created something, child. They say got 1.5 million dislikes. Let me, let me show y'all this. This is our Newsweek. So this is a dislike. It surpasses 1.5 million. Um, trying to see they had the picture of the dislikes. Do, 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 do. I have it on my thing, but it's hard to see. But if you look closely here, it shows a million. It's kind of hard to see, but it shows a million dislikes. And I think 200 and something thousand likes. Now, what has really bothered me with this whole situation with Haley is how much this girl is being trolled and these pictures that they're doing. I'm sorry, but I can't allow my children to watch this shit. Little Mermaid and she's on top of a watermelon with a chicken, I think a thigh on the neck. This person says, if Disney wants more diversity, they should have created another character before respecting all the other ethnicities, cultures. Shouldn't they at least try to be respectful to the origin? Hashtag not my Ariel. Race swap is not suddenly okay just because it's a white character for a change, AKA every single time. Not my Ariel, stop race swapping. Then they have her here, Duh Little Mermaid with some dreadlocks and Newports, as if you can smoke underwater. Just, just ignorant. This is how ignorant these racists are. You can't light up underwater, but okay. Then here they says, one of these things is not like the other. Bell, this is the Bell live action. This is, I don't know, child, live action. This is uh, Jasmine. 
Yes, that's the live person. Cinderella, the live person. Mulan, Asian lady. Uh, Magnificent, Angelina Jolie. The little boy from India. Um, Wally or something. I remember that. The Jungle Book. And then Ariel and uh, Haley. Okay. Now, this one kind of hurt. This one kind of stung a little bit. The only problem with a black little mermaid is that Ariel knew her father. I said, damn, y'all really went there, huh? Wow. And then this one, the little slave. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um. That was really disheartening because I watched those videos of little girls watching The Little Mermaid and seeing their shock, seeing them just elated, like, oh my God, she looks like me. And um, I don't know. It's just, I, it's just like, ugh, it's just nasty. Let me breathe. Mm, I'm just trying to, cause I don't want to cry. I want to calm down. It's just nasty. And, um, <clears throat> I feel bad for her cause she's a really nice girl. She's not involved in a lot of bullshit. And to just kind of see this moment taken from her is kind of messed up. Let me play out this other video of her. You feel it. I went in the trailer and bawled my eyes out, and now I'm here, so I'm just like, this is really weird. Seeing everyone's reaction over something that's so special and near and dear to my heart is so nice and kind, and I know that I put my all into it, so I know that I'm proud of myself at the end of the day. Where's your sister's at? My sister is like nonstop texting me right now, <laughs> so I can't wait to get back to them. Was this the first time you saw yourself saying a yeah. part of your world? Yeah. Well, how are you feeling? I went in the trailer and bawled my eyes out, and now I'm here, so I'm just like, this is really weird. Seeing everyone's reaction over something that's so special and near and dear to my heart is so nice and kind, and I know that I put my all into it, so I know that I'm proud of myself at the end of the day. Where's your sister sat? My sister is like nonstop texting me. Okay, let me come back on the screen. Okay, I just had to breathe real quick. That was just like, ugh. Whew. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all know I'm a very like, you know, I can be sensitive and shit when I want to be. That one just kind of like, that was just really ugly. Um, I guess I shouldn't be shocked, you know, social media. And maybe it's the Russian bots, you know, who knows. But um, I get it. I, I get, I can get some of like the anger, you know, with the race swap. You know, we, we too grew up with the white area, you know. Um, Remember what I said in my deep dive that we are so far removed from like just the spiritual aspect of just life, even things as, as simple as water. Water is such a life force. And what people don't understand is before is ever Disney's version of a little mermaid, the real mermaids were African. These were part of the African spirituality systems, the Orishas, you know what I'm saying? All through the Caribbeans, Africa, even with a lot of indigenous people, they also have water spirits and mermaids that they believe in. So it's very interesting how Disney basically appropriated Yamaya, Mamiwata, Oshun, and all these different Orishas for this story, okay? But if you really understand, like if you, if you come from like an African, especially West African, Haitian, Caribbean, um, and even Native American background, you understand the spiritual systems when it comes to water and it comes to water spirits. These deities were based on people of color. Disney whitewashed the Little Mermaid not the other way around. And I think the problem is people don't understand history because history has been so whitewashed. 
Honestly, okay, fine. You're upset because they switched her race. But you don't even understand the real history of where mermaids come from. And that many people believe, like, this, these are not Disney stories to us. These are real. I know, like, for the past two years, I've been talking about water spirits and people think I'm crazy. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But these are real, like, real beings, real creatures. And for people to be this mad and, and just turn it into, like, a whole disgusting race thing, like, if you don't want her to play Little Mermaid, then you just don't go watch it. When Jim and the Misfits came out and they whitewashed or mixed washed Shayna, I was really upset. I'm like, hold up, that's not dark skinned Shayna from Jim and the Misfits that I grew up with, who made me proud of my brown skin and my purple hair. They made her look different. I didn't like it, but not one time did I troll the girl. I didn't make memes going in on her. I just didn't watch the movie. It was that simple. If you don't like it and you're that upset, just don't support it. Why do y'all have to make her out to be a crackhead and a slave and say, you know, this black mermaid can't have a father as if no black people were raised with their fathers? I was raised with my father in the household, as were many black people. But unfortunately, the stereotype is black fathers are not there. Because again, we had the Nick Cannons of the world just creating single family home after single family home after single family home. Nick Cannon is not a representation of the black community. There are a lot of good fathers in the household. There's a lot of men who do have kids with one woman who aren't out here having multiple, you know what I'm saying, families and shit like that. They do exist. I know it's rare and it's not shown in the mainstream, but they do exist. So that, that was like, that was like really like trash, that last one. I resent that because I grew up with a father. I had a father in my household. That was trash. You know, it's just, it's really sad. And, and some people are saying like, instead of like Disney, you know, making her black or whatever, they should have just made a whole new story. But honestly, I don't want Disney profiting anymore off of like African and Caribbean history. I don't need them to make a watered down version of Yamaya. I don't want them to make a watered down version of Oshun. I don't want a watered down version of Mamiwata. I don't want that. For what? They don't need to make that. They just need to create whole new stories. But yeah, people need to understand that the Little Mermaid, like these are real African deities in the African spirituality system. She was based off of an African Orishwa. So I don't understand like why people are so upset all of the sudden, you know what I'm saying, and being extra racist about the situation when they don't even understand the backstory of the Little Mermaid and where Disney appropriated that from. I think that's the part that's just insane. And when you really think about it, a lot of the Christian spirituality systems come from that. Yamaya is basically like the, the Orishwa, I guess like the, the same, on the same level as like the Virgin Mary, because she's the one who created like, you know, as far as like the females, like the world, the waters and things like that. Nothing would exist without water. Water is a very, very powerful thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially in spirituality, water is very, very powerful. If the water goes, there ceases to be life. Most of our body is water. That's why I was saying in that deep dive, water is a very, very spiritual thing. When you pray into your water and you set good intentions into your water before drinking it, whatever is left, that ends up evaporating into the atmosphere. And so does all of your well wishes and good intentions. These are practices that have been done for eons. But people don't know about this because we live in such a modernized environment. And we don't understand. Like, we're so removed. We're so removed from stuff. This is why the waters are polluted. This is why we're running out of water. 
This is why we have billion dollar companies that can siphon and steal water and then sell it back to you in bottle form for profit. This is why you have billionaires like T. Boone Pickens and the, 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 the CEO of Nestle saying that water should not be for humanity. It's, it should be commodified. This is why water is not being exchanged on the stock exchange and being traded like a commodity. But people don't know that because they don't understand the, the nuances of things. It's, it's, it's easier to just make a meme and be racist than to understand and see the big picture. So I just, I don't know, like that, that was just like, just really, when I seen those memes, I was like this, it, it just was not that serious. I just thought it was just so disgusting, especially being like, you know, with Haley, like she's never been involved in like anything crazy. Like she literally minds her business. I don't care how you feel about her sister, but she literally minds her business. She just sings and does her. And it's just like for her to get that much hate was just like, it was just insulting. Um, the fact that people are creating apps or whatever they're creating to see the dislikes on that is just very interesting. Because I'm trying to figure out what other movie or what other viral situation have these same apps to see the dislike on something been shown. Maybe I'm wrong or maybe I missed it. This is the first time I've seen it where they were able to pull up the dislikes that were supposedly supposed to be gone over a year and a half ago. But somehow they were able to pull it for this. So I don't know. I just, I, I feel bad for her that she's being treated like this because it's very unfair. Um, they casted her for a role and she just did the job. Um, again, am I saying that people have to run out and go watch and support this movie? Absolutely not. We all have the right to decide what we're going to support and not support. If you don't like the fact that they swapped her race, if you don't like the fact that the, this little mermaid has dreadlocks and not, you know, long flowing red hair, that is your prerogative. But to be trolling and making racist comments and racist memes, it's just sad. And then in the same breath, y'all will sit here and gaslight me and say, there's no racism, T. You're always reaching. You're always searching for it. No, I'm not always searching for shit because I don't even pull the race card like that. The only time I really talk about racism is when it like just really matters and I have receipts to show. I don't sit up here and go in and drag people and make things about race all the time. This is not what this channel is about. But I want you guys to see, you know, my white subscribers, my Latino subscribers, my Asian subscribers, the people who support me from all over the world. And I, I definitely appreciate that. But I want you guys to see and understand the nuances of what we're talking about when we say like racism is still alive and well. And unfortunately, with the Internet, people have the anonymity of the Internet. So it makes them bolder, more emboldened. Because these same people made, making these gifts and these memes and, you know, writing this stuff, they wouldn't dare say it to my face. Trust and believe that. They wouldn't dare say it to Haley's face. Trust and believe that. People only have this energy on the Internet. Because, again, when they see you in person, it's all teeth. So, yeah, it's, it's sad. It's sad. You know, I just think that at this point, people have the right to go see the movie or not see the movie. But all the extra shit, all this, you know, the, the disrespect is just totally uncalled for and just very unnecessary. And I, for one, am like just tired of the stereotypes. And we can use this to segue into Nick Cannon. Latest news in the streets. Join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.